Well, 2018 just about done here, and of course, a lot of people start looking ahead to 2019, maybe with some hope and anticipation uh, or a little of both. And that means taking stock and considering New Year's resolutions, oftentimes having to do with money. Local for business editor Rob Maloney reveals why it might be time to view those financial changes in a different light. All right, so New Year's is almost here and you're thinking about maybe making a list of resolutions. Well, I'll say don't even bother. Resolutions are a myth. They're gone, usually, research shows, by February 1st of every year. And yet you know you've got to do something right with your money. You have to figure out something new, a different approach. So instead of having a resolution, what do you say you make a plan? That's right, a plan. And I've been working with my friends at the stretcher.com, the dollar stretcher website, very good website. Gary Foreman runs it. And he's here to help us with a few more ideas on how to make that plan last all year long. As the ball drops and you have the desire to take control over your money this year, let's do more than resolve. Let's do some real goal setting. Gary Foreman runs the Dollar Stretcher website. We'd all like to change a whole bunch of things at one time, but the truth is that we really need to focus on one goal uh, and make that a priority in our life. And that means getting clear about your goals and focusing on success. Try to put a number on it if you can, that you're going to have uh, an additional $500 in your emergency fund by July 1st, or you're going to reduce your credit card uh, uh, balance by $2,000 by Labor Day. It's probably a good idea to write down your goals and look at them every day and do some self-talk. Use that commitment as fuel for the moments when weakness arrives. For some people, it's that daily Starbucks. Uh, for others, it's an online purchase. Uh, know what kind of things would cause you to waver. Make the promise to yourself, even if it's by February 1st, to stick to the plan no matter what. The natural temptation is going to be to just throw the, the resolution and the goal away. And that, uh, but that's not necessarily, uh, that's not necessary. We can still achieve our goals if we pick ourselves up and uh, start moving back towards our goal again. So forget the resolutions, let's stick with the plan. But how do you do this? Well, one success leads to another, leads to another. So getting past that temptation is key. Now I have given you a whole bunch of differing things you can read about in your spare time in the cold summer months that'll help you with this. They're on my Money Monday page at clickondetroit.com. Happy New Year, everybody. Rod Maloney, Local 4.